Okay, so when you open up the project, you're going to see two different folders here, the main version as well as the square version. And that's going to have your uh, your logo comp, your pre comps and your uh, render comps as well. And these projects are built the same. The only difference is, of course, the uh, style of uh, this, uh, the design, so the shape, whether you want to use, uh, whether your logo or the text that you decide to use is going to have a more uh, spread out rectangular style, such as you see here, or a more uh, a smaller square style that you see here. So I'm going to go in the main here. We're going to start from the top. Looking at the switchers, the first thing you're going to see here is the element quality switcher. And that essentially is going to, switching that on, is going to turn the project into a draft mode. Next is the element 3D control. And this is going to turn the uh, 3D element effect off on uh, all the titles surrounding the logo. And you're going to find that you're going to want to use this with the text control and the guide layers. So for instance, I'm going to pop down here for the uh, into the text control for a second. And I'm going to pop that on. And I'm going to go into the element 3D control. I'm going to switch this off. Okay, and really that's just going to give me kind of a good idea of the uh, text that I'm using as well as its placement. And right below the text control are the guide layers control. So when you switch that on, uh, essentially this is just going to give you a good idea of where the titles are being placed in the context of the frame. So you may find that you want to switch your text control on as well as your guide layers. That way you have a good idea of measurement in terms of where everything is placed. So again, switching these on and off. And I'm going to go back up to the element 3D control. Switch that on. And again, these switches I just developed to, to make your, your life hopefully a little bit easier. Next is the depth of field switch. So if I go down to a shot here, uh, the majority of shots all contain depth of field, some more than others. Uh, so if I go to a shot here that has a pretty heavy amount of depth of field, uh, you're going to notice that depth of field is going to really increase render times uh, as well as slow down your workflow. So again, it's just another switch where you can just check that off and it's going to shut off depth of field on all your cameras. Uh, moving down to the logo switcher. So if I scroll down, uh, in a minute we're going to see how to change the text as well as the logo. Uh, and essentially I gave you two options. So you're going to have a uh, option to just replace the text that you see here. Or pop in your logo in the logo pre-comp here. And this is just a simple switcher to switch between your logo or the text. Uh, next is your color correction. I do have the curves off on this just for the simple reason on one of the renders. I just felt that it was washing out a little bit of the, uh, the uh, textures that uh, I'd, I'd wasn't too happy so I shut it off but you know teach his own you can turn that back on I left it there uh, the next layer down is just the glow surrounding uh, you know your titles next is a simple light glare and then we just have some lens dust so you may see in the demo every now and then uh, the lens dust will kind of be a little more pronounced uh, when the light goes against the screen uh, and this is simply the uh, lens dust. I, I added another one here as well uh, with a low opacity. You know, I have it off by default, but you can turn that on if you you know you want to give it a little bit more of a uh, 
dirty feel. Uh, also is that bokeh that you see. Again, I shut this off. Um, you know, if you, if you feel that you do want it on, just simply go over here and turn it on. And that pretty much wraps it up for the controls.